वेलकम एस्पिरेंस ऑफ आई एम ट्वेंटी सो वी आर एनासिस एनालिटिक्स एंड सिस्टम क्लब ऑफ आई एम रायपुर एंड वी आर हेयर टू गिव यू अ फ्यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड जनरल क्वेश्चन दैट यू दैट माइट अपियर इन योर पी आई एंड द फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट लाइक द बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट वुड अपियर इज वॉट इज डेटा एनालिटिक्स एंड वेर इट इज यूज एंड वॉट आर द टूल्स दैट यू यूजली सी इट द थ्री मेजर प्लेयर्स आर योर फाइनेंशियल मार्केटिंग एंड योर हेल्थ केयर Your financial is used to derive some investment decisions and uh, predict fraud. Then your healthcare is basically used for your drug analytics and your customer relations. Your marketing is used for primarily customizing your marketing to a individual to individual customers. And these are the primary players that usually uh, that spend a lot in your data analytics. Now coming on to the tools that gets used, it's uh, the languages that uh, primarily used are your R and Python. with uh, front end used uh, primarily using uh, tableau and power bi and uh, closing it off everything will be mostly hosted on your cloud servers use, uh, that is your aws and your azure okay so the second question that can be asked to you is what are the types of uh, data analytics there are several types of data analytics and with each of it having its own techniques and tools let us discuss some of them the first is descriptive analytics descriptive analytics helps us in summarizing and describing what the uh, data is and uh, helps us in uh, uh, summing up what is happening it uses various techniques uh, usually which is data visualization and summary statistics here you can see various graphs and uh, statistics and charts on, that is used in excel second is the diagnostic analytics diagnostic analysis usually drills down what is happening what has happened in the data the various tools used in diagnostic analysis is a uh, data mining and a uh, correlation analysis third is the pre- predictive analytics this type of analytics uses statistical tools and algorithms to make prediction about what is going to happen in the future various tools used in predictive analysis is regression or time series analysis the fourth is the prescriptive analysis this type of analytics uses data models and uh, decision making techniques to make pred- uh, future recommendations the tools used for prescriptive analytics is simulation and optimization the p- point is uh, all these four types of uh, analytics aren't mutually exclusive they are used ha- uh, together only for example the output of the uh, da- descriptive analytics is usually the input for the diagnostic analysis and uh, the input f- output of the diagnostic analysis is the input for the predictive analytics and so on thank you next question that you will be asked is like a difference between the data mining data extraction data analytics and data science so let's see the difference between them so basically these all fields are distinct but uh, they are interrelated to each other so first one is the data mining so data mining is the process of discovering patterns knowledge uh, from the dat- large data sets it involves the use of various techniques such as classification clustering and association uh, rule mining to identify patterns and relationship in the data next up we have data extraction uh, data extraction is the process of collecting the data from various sources so that can include uh, databases uh, then website apis moving ahead uh, about the data analytics so data analytics is the process in which we have to examine the data clean the data transform it and model it to extract the useful information out of it moving ahead we have a data science so data science is the field in which uh, it has data mining data extraction and data analytics and many other techniques and tools to extract the insights and knowledge from this data so basically in summary we can say that data mining data extraction and data analytics are the sub- subset of data science where data mining focuses on discovering the hidden patterns and knowledge from the data data extraction is all about collecting the data from various sources and data analytics focuses on using the various techniques and tools to extract the insight and knowledge from the data okay the next question here comes is that some of the big analytic companies which are going to ask you so there are many large companies which will provide you data analytics and also provide various services and solutions some of them are first one is your google google provides a wide range of services and solutions which include google analytics google bigquery and google cloud and the next one is your 
Amazon. Amazon provides a wide range of solutions and services including Amazon QuickSight, Amazon Redshift and Amazon SageMaker. And the next one is Microsoft. You know, if this Microsoft is very tremendous company, where it going to the analytics these days? And some of the tools that it is using is Microsoft Power BI, which is very largely popular. And the next one is Microsoft Azure and the Microsoft SQL Server. The next one is SaaS. SaaS is a leader in advanced analytics and data visualization software and services. Now Tableau. Tableau is also a company and a tool which is used for data visualization software that allows you to create interactive data visualizations and dashboards. And the next one is Altrix. Altrix is a data analytics tool which that allows you to create data blending, say spatial analytics and also the statistical analytics. And the next, next one is SAP. SAP provides a wide range of analytics that gives you services and solutions including SAP HANA, SAP Business Objects and SAP Lumira. This is an exhaustive list that have been given to you and the rest there are many other companies like New Sigma, Oracle and Fractal Analytics. I would request everyone to go through these companies and also keep an eye on these insights. Thank you. Another question that keeps pestering students is that how can you pursue business analytics specialization during an MBA if you do not have a computer science background? If you do not have a computer science background, you can still pursue a specialization in business analytics during an MBA program by taking courses and developing skills in data analysis, statistics and programming. Here are a few ways you can do so. Take data analysis courses, learn programming languages like SQL or Python, develop stat statistical skills via courses and do certain life projects. Uh, doing so will help you in honing your skills. It's worth noting that while a computer science background can be beneficial for data analytics, it's not a requirement. With the right courses, training and experience, anyone can develop the skills and knowledge needed to work in data analytics. So the next question is how does each programming language differ from each other? So different programming languages have different characteristics and are suited for different types of tasks. Programming languages can differ on basis of open source and free software. Most analytical companies prefer open source and free software. They also differ on basis of complexity, syntax, portability, runtime and the list continues. Whereas logic building remains same for all languages. So do explore about some programming languages and how they differ from each other. Examples include Python, R, JavaScript, C++ and SQL. And it will be beneficial if you will prepare some of the trending topics. Big data. Big data refers to data that is so large, fast or complex that it's difficult to process using traditional methods. Blockchain. A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. IoT. It refers to the collection of network of connected devices and technology that facilitates communication between devices and the cloud as well as between the devices themselves. So there are many others like chat GPT, data warehousing, open AI, sustainable development in technology, deep learning, neural networks, commercializing AI. Team Analysis wishes you all the best.